This is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so embarrassing. My level of skills as a painter is embarrassing. But that's okay. It's good to it's good to show it's good to show failure. And we're definitely gonna show some failure tonight. Alright, so Alright, so um I mean, I don't really think it has to be that perfect. I just have to kind of get the proportions right, which I can't even really remember. Um, come on, come on, internet. Yeah, so this goes down to pretty much his mid abdomen and stops right okay stops right above there so we'll see what happens I'm probably gonna concentrate so if I don't say hello just know that it's it's not personal I just wanna shake this paint up a lot because um yeah I don't want to can I oh can I bring the chat out can I pop out the chat oh yeah I can I think that's going to be easier. So hopefully everyone can hear me. I'm going to leave OBS up so I can see my volume levels and I'll leave the chat up right near me. So let's put some paint in here and just pretend we know what we're doing. And this is uh, Vallejo model color. Wait. I don't think I need a smaller brush. Maybe I do need a smaller brush. I brought some cheap brushes on Amazon, so we'll see if they work. If I need a smaller brush, okay, I'll use this. I got a bunch of small brushes in here. But I think I want to lay down the thick pieces before I do like small details. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start with that initial bit in the middle. And there's only two little things above that. Okay, so I guess something like that, and then there's like a box kind of here. There's a little piece of this brush like sticking out and I know that it's going to be an issue. I can feel it. Okay. Man, I, I always hate how paint looks when you're painting. It's just like so goopy and uneven. But I couldn't think of a way. The only thing that I could have done is just made a, like a relief, is it? I could have like painted a, like an ind indentation. And then I could have just like filled that with color. I think that might have been my best option. So, what else? Let me go back to the... So it's like a circle, it's like that. 
I gotta I gotta get this piece off of this brush. Cause it's just gonna like paint on stuff. I also tried to find like uh why can't I grip this stupid thing? Oh, now I pushed it back in. Oh well, I'll have to get it later. What's up, KP? Appreciate the love. Glad you like the videos. What's up, not a PK? Message retracted. Uh oh. It's probably telling me how much of a terrible painter I am, but. I couldn't even, I couldn't disagree with that. Oh, maybe I need a smaller brush. No, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to finish off with this brush. The only problem is I really don't want to have to do all those lines like more than once. I think that's like my big issue. I really don't want to do these lines more than once. But you kind of have to because, like, look how it dries. Like, it dries so bad. So I'm just a bit, like, I don't know. Let me get, I need to get underneath here and really get this straight. It's also a bit difficult because obviously he's like all bumpy and stuff, so. Okay. And actually, I think I made this thing is a, is a bit small. It's probably actually bigger than this. But maybe the maybe the more I paint, maybe I'll I'll get a little bit better as I go. I need to do so I need to make um, I need to make these like tips up here I definitely need a smaller brush <laughs> jeez. I guess I should do those little tips at the bottom too. Shout out to all you folks out there that actually do paint though because this is so hard. And it's why I've always hated painting. And like, it's not really about, I mean, you know, like, I guess there's there's always been things that 
Like as an artist, like yeah, I want to stick to the mediums that I'm good at. But I don't mind doing things that I'm not good at. But the only problem is like it's just not fun. Like painting for me is like a chore. thing look even. I definitely need smaller brush for that, but that's okay. I'll live. Okay, now there's like two little oh maybe I'll wait until I get the other the other brush. Okay, now how in the world do I do these other things? It's so thin there too. So they all come from here. So maybe I'll try to do all the lines at once. That's what my brain tells me to do. So these all come like straight out. And I gotta remember to do it in the camera. thinking I should get the smaller brush. Two, three, four. I don't know what screen is better. room for all this stuff. Yeah, I think I need a smaller brush. Also, I, I feel like I see people with like the longer, the longer haired brushes, so maybe there's something to that. Okay, so it goes so they all go out after that. Okay. Then they go, this one goes up. turns off. 
super helpful. This stupid phone. Oh, good, it worked. Usually it doesn't work. Yeah, these straight edges are non existent. Well, the smaller brush does help a lot. Because it's a lot sharper, which is good. I guess this goes like just straight down like this. I mean, you can't really can't really pussyfoot around with these lines. Oops. Well, I guess the good thing is I can probably touch all of this up with a black Sharpie. So I think it looks like more paint helps a lot, having more paint on the brush seems to make it work a bit more like a tool that I'm used to, so that's good to know. Ugh. I'm going to have to touch that up with black paint. So I think that's pretty good for, for, a, first, for a first coat. I don't think in general it's pretty good, but for a, for, for a first coat, it's okay. Now I really want them to be sort of even, so part of me wonders if I should just start from here. Probably should have made this more straight, but that's okay. I 
And then I think it just goes straight down. We'll stretch these back. It's hard to tell which the better view is. You know what I probably should have did? I probably should have like practiced painting. Because usually you kind of get better at stuff as you go. Ugh. Gotta be careful not to turn the brush on its side. Oh God, how terrible does that look? <laughs> Heavens. All right, let's see what we can do to help this poor guy. So not even. I gotta figure out a way to make them a bit more even. Oh, maybe I can make this part a little wider. Nothing can really be done about these poor lines I made. Ugh, terrible. get this straighter. All right. 
What else do we want to do here? I guess we gotta try to figure out how to make these not look super terrible. Pretty sure I just made him worse. But that's okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do some black. I wonder if there's anything that will scrape that off, actually. Let's try a plastic fork. I'm just curious. If I can get rid of some of that. Or if it'll scratch the paint. Yeah, I think a black Sharpie would be better. Oh well. Oh, the paint's getting like goopy too, so that doesn't help. But that's okay. I thought it was a bug on my leg, but I think it's just sweat. Because it is hot. just probably mess it up. Okay. That's the best I can do. What's up, Margaret? Yeah, paint, 
paint remover on a Q-tip. That's probably uh, that will probably work. I um, that probably work well. But you know, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it. So the only other thing else I have to do, which should be f a little bit easier, is put this here. So it's still in frame. So I need to do this. The teeth. The teeth and the eyes. The eyes is more critical. Oh, the paint is like... The paint's drying, unfortunately. So the eyes are the most critical. But I, did ha I do have the indentation. And I think that would be the key. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Oh, I just messed that up too. But... I think it's a dry paint glob. You know what? Maybe I can fight fire with fire. Is that even in focus? Why do I feel like this isn't even in focus? What are we doing? to sharpie that. Gotta get the goop off the paintbrush. Overhead, copy that, thank you. You know, I can probably, sorry, I keep putting the brush in my mouth and then trying to talk like a complete dum dum. Oh, I guess it's still all in the crevasse, at least. I should have bought those tools from, I went to Michael's today, and I should have brought those little tools, the little scrapers and stuff. Should have just went full dentist. So 
sorry, I have to remember that I have to do this in the camera. Kind of pay attention to a million things at once. It's not really on the top sufficiently. Oh, perfect. Maybe I should just paint this to this bottom edge. Maybe that one, no, that one's actually still in the crevasse. That's pretty good. Um, should I do red in the mouth? Oh, there's a tongue too. Uh, let me do the, mm, oh, I don't know if I should paint the, the inside of the mouth. Red or pink. I probably should. I should probably do that first. I bought these from the dollar store today and I, I can't find the cap. Because the paint dries so quickly. Come on, where's the cap? It's got to be here. It's literally got to be right here. That was like the whole point. Oh, there it is. So hopefully this paint won't dry completely up. Uh, I also need some paint thinner, I think. I'll just use airbrush cleaner. I think that should work. Let's get most of it off with water and then maybe airbrush cleaner. I should get the rest off. So, I should probably do that with like red, I suppose. Because we have, I have the tongue. The tongue is already airbrushed and looks great. But what color is the inside of Venom's mouth? I think it's, is it just regular mouth color? Yeah, it's like the same color. Oh, this is, this is clear orange. What? Flat red. I don't even know what this flat red looks like. <laughs> the microscope glasses. What's up, IHMC? Glad you liked the tutorials. Appreciate it. Flat red. Maybe I should just do flat red. Uh, 
Did I not take the... I just want to see what it looks like. I'm not having red paint squirt out all over me. I think I need a pin. So linty. Linty and cat hairy. Cat hair just gets all over everything. Okay, you trying to come out yet? Or are you just still there we go. Uh, that's probably good. But red might look a little too much like blood, so maybe maybe it does need some pink. I don't even think I have pink. So I guess I'll just mix it with some white. Did I do all the white that I oh no, I still have white on the on the teeth. Alright. We'll use another one of these since since I got it from the dollar store. Because, yeah, red, it'll, it'll look a little too red. And it'll just look like blood, I think. Oh, gotta be careful with the head. Shaky, shaky. Eggs and bakey. I don't know how much I should use, so we'll see what that looks like. Oh, you know what else I got from the dollar store? These things that are so difficult to get out. These little popsicle sticks. Dollar store buy. Um, what kind of pudding is it? It's butterscotch. It's my all, that's my favorite. One of my favorites. Uh, these are uh, Vallejo. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's good enough. It kind of looks orange, but I really don't care. It looks a little orange. Let me see if I have like a little bit of like a purple color. It's kind of offset that a little bit. I don't know if purple is the right color. Probably not. Maybe a little more red? Uh, maybe I could add some airbrush paint. I'll just add some airbrush paint. It's kind of liquidy, but... Have I ever used this? No, I didn't use this one. Uh, whatever. We'll just add a drop of that. See what happens. Just add a little pink in there. I think that's good. Probably should have made some more, but that's what happens when you are just not good at what you're doing. This is a mess waiting to happen. I keep getting uh, dust. I forgot that I used this thing to like drill. So I don't really care too much about this, but I just want to put it kind of back here. I can't even see what I'm doing. I can't even see what I'm doing, actually.
If I can not touch the teeth, I'll try to not touch the teeth, but I'm not too, too worried about it. It'd be nice to get back there, too. All right, I think that's good enough. I think I want to use the baby brush to try and get, there's some spots back here that it would be nice to get. And maybe I'll just do a dab of white over that for the tooth. This is, um, I will admit, oh, this is the exact thing that forces me to figure out how to print in sections. But I don't think you can really. I did. I did try to think of ways to print this in sections, like maybe like print like a mouthpiece that just goes inside. Oh, oh well. Get some of this off. Probably not. This is too big anyway. Oh well. We'll hit it with a. We'll hit it with some black paint later on. Let me clean these brushes. We can do some teeth. This looks like it's, oh no, it's still, still usable. God, it keeps getting dirty and sticky. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> I was thinking about that, but I was like, uh, it would look very brutal. But I did, I did consider it for a brief moment. Oh god, I'm gonna get white everywhere. But, you know what?
big old teeth. It gets kind of difficult to like <laughs> hold both of these things steady in the air so it's close to camera. Like bracing itself on myself and myself on itself. I'm just hoping it stays somewhat in focus. Where did you come from? Oh. See if we can get in here. I bet you a dentist would be so good at this. Well, I guess human mouths are a lot bigger than this, so I guess they have it easy. I just put this model on Colts 3D today. If anyone wants to go print it out. Gosh, look at these teeth. Sure, skilled painters are like, what are you doing? But come on, come on. Ah. And I smear it all the way down the mouth. Of course. On the very last tooth. You know what I need? I need to clean this. Put a little of this stuff on it. Apparently that just smears it, makes it worse. Oh, tissue got marks on it. show it from a distance so it doesn't look as bad as it is shout out to the cat hi Dave from Venezuela I've learned a lot with your tutorials you're amazing thank you for sharing your knowledge with us well it's my pleasure thanks for watching thanks for suffering with me through this live stream where I'm actually painting something that 
is very rare unless it's with an airbrush oh my god this uh, trying to get this tissue off oh that actually worked a little bit that's all right but i appreciate it any case of sculpting tutorial for blender i've noticed you're exclusively on ipad Mm, I mean, I do like, I do videos where like I bring stuff into Blender, but uh, I'm terrible at Blender. And Blender is like, I love it for the cycles render, but Blender is not fun at all. It's just like, it's it's like not an art app. And I like to sculpt, I like to make things like tangibly, I guess. I, th I think that's what it is. And Blender is just not that. So, I mean, I have my videos where like, I, I do walk and talk through what I'm doing, but I wouldn't I wouldn't consider it a tutorial really because Blender is by design well not by design but inherently it's just really hard to teach because you cannot see what someone is doing with their hands and it's not universal because all of the all of the tutorials are for um, PCs. You have to have a mouse. So like every time I w watch a tutorial, I have to like figure out, okay, so like this person is using a PC with a middle mouse. I don't have a middle mouse. So I kind of have to figure out how everything works. And also the thing with Blender is um, every, like nothing is like really straightforward. Everything is like a series of shortcuts that you have to know. And it's just impossible. Like I, to me, Blender feels like learning how to type on a keyboard all over again, because all it is is like different combinations of things that are just if you don't use them, then you just forget, or if you don't know them, it's just like impossible to learn. And then it's impossible to translate to a Mac, like what I'm using, and my computer is like not very fast, and there's like so many things against me. So that's my my blender story okay uh, you know I want to see what it looks like if I if I use a sharpie I'm just really curious I mean I guess I could use paint but we know how that was gonna go it's gonna go terribly I don't know if this is dry but I'm just curious to see what this will look like if I go over it in sharpie Hmm. It's not terrible. Let's see what happens if I try to straighten this. Gonna have to press hard, but it might look bad in the sunlight, but. In the dark, it's not too bad. No real paint on the marker either, surprisingly. Oh, it really doesn't get in those crevasses though. That's the only problem.
I need to leave that alone before I make it worse. Is there anything I need to touch up here? I can't wait to spray this thing down. Sorry, my thumb is in the way. Okay. It's actually quite effective. If I had a smaller one, it'd probably be better. Probably should, I probably should do another coat on the teeth. You know what, like, I should probably not be lazy and just try to do it. The problem is it's just like, it's so thick. And it almost looks like it doesn't really help. It almost just makes them look worse. So, maybe I just won't. Alright. So now... I'm not going to let it properly dry. I'm just going to glue this thing together. I had to buy some new glue today at Michael's. Yeah, Blender's Blender is. I mean, I can't say it's terrible. I mean, obviously you can do great stuff, but shake well before use. Use app use applicator to spread cement on both clean dry surfaces let dry until glossy what does that even mean contact cement I don't know we're just gonna see if this sticks I've been going through these things the thing that annoys me is shake well? How do you... I don't even think I can hear it. I really don't even think I can hear it. So what am I painting? So this... The tongue fits inside the mouth. So we're gonna... I guess I haven't tried it since I painted it. Yep, there you go. So it goes inside the mouth like that. Easy peasy. Shake well before use. Well ventilated area. Okay. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Uh, let's see how bad it smells. I might put my mask on. Oh, ooh, it's already coming out? Just like that? Oh, it smells pretty bad. Let me get my mask one second. I'm about to sound crazy. So I apologize for that. About to sound real crazy. But okay, this thing is already 
So probably not even top. Oh, should I glue the head on first? What? What did I buy? I feel like it's already drying. I don't know if I should like put more on or... Oh god, this is the weirdest thing. I guess I just hold it. I probably should have just got super glue again. So I guess we'll just chill here while I hold this. So, who's, uh, who's out there? What are you guys up to tonight? And how crazy do I sound? Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 that actually seems like it's okay. I mean, it's not perfectly on, but, uh, not bad. Actually, this stuff is actually okay in the mouth. Because it actually looks a lot like what Venom actually has in his mouth. The Venom. Venom is Venom. Come on, Nick. I really need you to stay. I wonder what this looks like. If I, uh... I don't know. Should I try it? a lot. Oh, sorry.
Uh, what happened there? Well, it's like yellow, but I know it looks gross. I mean. I don't know what else I could have used for that. I just want the head to be a little bit more flush. Alright, let me take this mask off. Whew. But this stuff did stink, so... Safety first. I'm going to tighten this really tight so I can continue to use it. Hopefully it doesn't dry out on me like most other adhesives. That doesn't look like it's getting any closer. That looks gross. But I think it's supposed to look gross, right? What's up, Janaid? Or Janaid, or it could be a Janaid. Zwireth Lindo. I appreciate you swinging by. Your blender is pure suffering. What else did I miss? Um, you know, I appreciate you guys coming by, stopping by, and watching this. Um, I'm glad that this guy is done not perfect by any means uh, it'd be cool to get some clear I think I'm gonna get some clear uh, uh, there's some clear stuff that I saw too that that would actually be really good for for this I like this I like this gross stuff uh, I don't mind it at all for him and I'm, I'm fairly happy with my paint job like it's not great but I don't I don't paint I don't do stuff like this so it was fun it's very fun I think it looks decent for someone who is like only a few months into printing and all that stuff. So I'm very happy. So I, I think I need to spray. I need to go out and spray uh, spray this with matte protector protectant. So that's the next thing that I'll do is I'll just go outside and spray it. But uh, glad I got it done because I was really putting this off for a long while because I was nervous. And when you're nervous, you go live, so you mess, you you make a fool of yourself on for for YouTube for all eternity. But uh, oh, I can show you this too. Uh, Batman was a mess too, unfortunately. But you know, but he was one of the first ones that like I made. So he's a mess. His cape broke. I should have I should have done this a long time ago. Like I should have put them together a long time ago, and I should have worked out the uh, the cape a little bit better, so the fit was a little bit better. But other than that, like it came out pretty good. Like the general shape here, the face is like a piece, and it kind of worked. But I need to come up with some better solutions. I think another better solution would just be to do these things just uh, with less detail. Uh, and make them a little bit more simple somehow and just make them so they're easier to paint so I'm not really sure how to do that especially with something like this with all these different pieces but that's something that I'll have to work on but uh, things like this things like the Venom are, just, are a lot more fun because uh, his whole body is just black so that made it a little bit easier so you know you live and you learn 
All right. So let me put this Batman back. All right, so I might try to do some sculpting or something else, but I think that's it for the live. So I appreciate you guys watching. Once again, here is my finished Venom. I'm just going to spray him down and call it done because I have a lot of other sculpts and stuff I want to work on. So, like, you know, you just kind of have to finish so you can, like, move on to the next project. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Keep drawing. Keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great night. Zwyrith. Zoirith? Zwyrith. Zwyrith? Zor. Jinail. Shout out to Margaret. Wanted Venom with the bloody mouth. The vicious Ven. Alright, let me figure out how to turn this thing off. I think I'm gonna do some I wanna do some really cute little frogs. That's what I wanna do. Um, oh, I can show you something. I can show you a sneak peek. If anyone's still there, I'll show you a quick sneak peek and then I will sign out. So let me go to max screen. That's you guys. Um uh, where is it? Where where is it? I just made some new Blender prints today. Of uh, these two. So here, this is one, and then I have the dark one that won't show up. Won't show up, of course. And here's the dark one. So here's the light one, and then here's the dark one. Uh, and the tutorial for this will be up soon. I love it. So much fun. All right, see you guys in the next one.